An emotional call to name the gang rape victim is being made. A large section of people believe naming the brave heart and the new anti-rape law that is being mulled on her will be the true tribute by a nation shaken by her tragedy. An intense debate is raging over ever since Congress leader and junior HRD minister Shashi Tharoor first floated the idea which was received with skepticism by several activists, politicians and hundreds, thousands of people in the street who are unsure of the merits of such a move and who feel naming her will only end up as an act of token symbolism. I want to get in a word from former NCW chief Purnim Advani, well-known activist as well. Ms. Advani, what is your personal view on this, naming this future anti-rape law after the girl who was gang raped and who is now dead? Are we dumping the gun, obsessing with something that is mere, merely symbolic? Or is it important that attention be paid to this right now instead of the law itself? I think what is most crucial is that in the present setup of laws and enforcement, there must be attention, strict and serious attention paid to ensure that enforcement takes place. Otherwise, all else is lip service. First of all, I do not think that rape laws, the rape victims, their names should be made public. This is something which is extremely private to them. And uh, I sincerely uh, am not of the opinion that there should be a separate law. There is the Indian Penal Code that should be made, uh, uh, that can be amended. The evidence can be amended to ensure that it is tilted in favor of the women. But coming up with a new law, you see the problem in our yes. country is whenever we there is some instance of this sort, there is a knee-jerk reaction to it. Now, whenever there is a new law, like you have the Sharda Act, the Child Marriage Restraint Act, even police and police channels don't have copies of those laws. They just don't know that it exists. So it all gets enacted as a knee-jerk reaction, but nothing gets sustained. Instead, if our uh, the Bible and penal laws, that is the uh, penal code, okay. is made as strong as possible and that is properly implemented, at least the police in the remote right. areas would know what the law is. Otherwise, I have traveled through the length and breadth of the country, going to Thanas, but they just don't know which are the answers, which are the other laws. That is right. That is right, uh, Purnima Advani. It's a substantive approach that needs to be adopted and not mere symbolism. Symbolism is welcome if it's backed up with something that's real and substantive on the ground. Thanks for speaking to headlines.